All right, everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to be talking about Eastland Mall in Columbus, Ohio. So this will probably be a short video, but I wanted to cover it as the mall just closed at the end of 2022. This is a place that I've visited a handful of times over the past several years. I'm pretty sure I have some photos and videos of this mall somewhere, and I really hope I have them backed up. And if I do find them, I will be sure to include them in this video. Anyways, Eastland was an enclosed, single-story shopping mall built back in the 1960s. It was a pretty good-sized mall. It had four anchors and enough room for an additional 56 tenants. To get to the beginning of Eastland, we have to mention another mall. That mall would be Northland Mall, which opened back in 1964. As you might suspect, it was located on the north side of Columbus. Northland Mall would be very much successful, and just a few short years later, Eastland Mall would be opened. Eastland would be developed by Richard E. Jacobs. It was located at the corner of Refugee and Hamilton Road. Eastland would officially be opened on Valentine's Day, 1968. The mall was originally anchored by just three stores, those being J.C. Penney, Sears, and Lazarus. The interior of the mall itself was a single story. However, all anchors had two floors. In addition to the three anchors, there was space for 56 smaller stores and kiosks. So throughout the 1960s, both Eastland and Northland malls were very popular with the locals. So it came as no surprise when the Westland Mall opened in 1969. All three of these so-called directional malls were developed by Richard Jacobs. In fact, Jacobs had developed nearly two dozen other malls, most of which were very successful. As a side note, the Jacobs family would go on to purchase the then Cleveland Indians in the mid-1980s, so I think it's safe to say that their malls were booming. Oh, and by the way, if you're wondering about a Southland Mall, as far as I can tell, there was one planned but never built. There was a Southland Shopping Center, but as far as I can tell, it seems to be unrelated to the other three. I'm sure someone will have more information about this, so if you do know anything about Southland, please let me know about that in the comments. Anywho, Eastland would continue to be successful throughout the 1980s and into the 1990s. However, by the late 1990s, although very popular, the mall was starting to show its age. By this time, the mall was nearly 30 years old. Eastland would have to make some improvements to stay up to date and compete with the newer malls in the area, such as the newly built City Center Mall. So the mall would get a major facelift in 1998, with new improvements such as the new mall entrance and a food court. However, these things would be short-lived, as even more competition would pop up in the early 2000s. There were new places in the area, such as Easton Town Center and Polaris, two very popular places. As soon as these new places popped up, as you might suspect, Eastland started losing foot traffic. Not only was competition a major problem, but the mall started losing tenants. Many stores just wanted to move to the newer, more popular Polaris Mall. Anyways, the mall was starting to struggle in 2001, and it was said that Jacobs was unable to make the loan payments, so he would sell the mall to Sigma Investments. Sigma had big plans for the mall, however, they would never materialize, as they too would fall behind on loan payments. Oh, and as a side note, in 2002, the Northland Mall would be closed. It would end up being demolished in 2004. Anyway, in 2003, Eastland would once again be sold. This time, the buyer was Glimpture Reality Trust. The price, $30 million. By the way, this was the same company that owned Polaris. So yeah, Glimpture was the new owner, and I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. Anyway, they would go to work right away changing up the mall. In fact, they would build a fourth anchor store. That store would end up being a Kaufman's. However, even with the new management and the improvements to the mall, they just continued to lose money into the mid-2000s. In fact, the mall was put up for auction in 2014. The mall would eventually be purchased by the newly created Eastland Mall Holdings for just $9.7 million, nearly $20 million less than what they paid for it just years earlier. Oh, and by the way, in case you're wondering, Westland Mall was pretty much done at this point, but it didn't officially close until 2017, which left just Eastland as the last remaining directional mall. So at this point, Eastland is about 50% occupied. So I'm just going to fast forward here and list the major store closing. 
In 2015, JCPenney closed. In spring of 2017, Macy's closed. In fall of 2017, Sears closed. So with these closings, it would leave the mall without any anchor stores and just 25 interior stores and kiosks remaining. So clearly the mall was struggling very much at this point. And to make matters worse, in 2021, the city of Columbus filed several health and safety complaints against Eastland Mall Holdings. They stated major building and parking lot repairs would need to take place for the mall to continue to operate. And, well, none of this ever happened. So in June of 2022, the city filed a complaint and declared the property a public nuisance, and which would require a court date to discuss further actions. So with all that, the decision was made to close the mall permanently. All tenants were notified of the last day of mall operations, which would be December 31st, 2022. End of an era, one of the last original malls in Columbus is closing. After more than 50 years, Eastland Mall will shut its doors for good Saturday. Since 1968, it was a place where many of you remember going, whether for the movies, out to eat or shopping. Eastland's closure follows the Northland and Westland malls. The shopping areas that remain include Easton, Tuttle Crossing, and Polaris. 10 TV's Lindsay Mills spoke to the city's director of development today to find out what the future of this site could hold. Lindsay. Yeah, Andrew, that's the question so many people have tonight about this spot. And the short answer is there is no plan at this time for the property. You probably already knew that, but it's a place we know many people think of when they think of the past. So oddly, I've already heard rumors about the mall being demolished, but I haven't seen anything official yet. As of January 2023, it's still standing. Anyway, guys, I just wanted to make a short video about Eastland Mall. And, well, that's the history. So thank you very much for watching. And if you have a request for a future video or any suggestions, let me know about that in the comments. Thank you.